This video is brought to you by buyptcgocodes.com. It's a great source to buy all your codes to play the Pokemon trading card game online. As you can see, they have a large variety of codes at reasonable prices, and they provide instant email delivery on purchase. If you make a purchase, if you use the code CABIGON5, you'll receive 5% off your order. Check them out and let them know I sent you. What is up everybody? Hungry Cabigon here. I have got some mystery packs for you today. Uh, these ones are the 200 yen ones, but they're pretty decent. We've had pretty good luck with them. So only around $2, less than $2 these days with the, uh, the way the exchange rate is going. So uh, we're only 20 bucks invested and um, nice ultra pro sleeves. And Hopefully, we should be able to get something uh, half decent to get our money's worth. There is some good stuff that we can potentially get. Let's see. 200 yen mystery packs. Nice and cheap. That's the way I like it. Alright, what have we got in the first one? We've got a stone fighting energy. And then... We have a rotom. So, we should expect to get a V at the, the minimum. So, and nice and new one from the newest set, so that's cool. I do want to get the, uh, the special art Rotom, though. That is sick looking. So many uh, items on the on the card, if you haven't seen it. It looks super awesome. All right, next one. We've got a Sobble. Da -da. All right, we got Samurott. Suian Samurott. Nice artwork on this card. Cool looking battle region. The... I don't know how much it is in English, but the Radiant Greninja is worth like 40 bucks in Japan. It's crazy expensive. So that's like a super good pool to get. And I think that that was one of the options that we can get uh, in these mystery packs potentially. And we did actually pull one from these mystery packs before, so... That is a very good pull to get, especially considering how cheap the packs are. It's like a 20 times uh, return on investment, which is pretty good. All right, so let's see what we got in this one. Ooh, Rayquaza. Reprinted version. But still, yeah, I kind of thought that uh, the old Rayquaza would be a bit more popular play playability-wise. I think a lot of people myself included, thought that the VMAX would be really good, and it kind of just mm, never really took off. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I kind of thought it was, like, be a big one-hitter beefy boy, but, yeah, never really, never really happened, unfortunately. All right, next. Mimikyu VMAX. I feel like we're getting Mimikyu VMAX every time we get these as well but um it, it, it is nice like you at least get well i say recent like those two are not recent but these two are, are relatively recent which is good so can't really complain with that can we all right next one what do we get alteria and aerodactyl again from the newest set so not bad, not bad. Also has a sick alternate art, which we have not seen yet, unfortunately. Uh, the I think the last time I looked, we could probably get the, the three alternate arts, uh, not including the um, Giratina, obviously, because that's crazy expensive. We could probably get the other three for like 50, 60 bucks altogether. Which is pretty good. It's like the price of a box, but you get, you know, three of the special arts, which are very hard to pull. So, I think we'll definitely buy those ones. But uh, just don't know about the, don't know about the Giratina. I'm thinking about the possibility of selling like a kind of equally valued card and and just buying it because I do really want to get it. All right, what do we got? Oh, all right, we got a hit. We got a Radiant Eevee. That was one of the, the hits we can potentially get out of this, so that's good. We got one. But uh, probably not one of the better ones. Like I said, we could have got the Greninja, 
which is sick. Um, I think, though, now... I'm going to have two of every Radiant in the set. Actually, now that I think about it, do I have two Venusaurs? I think I have only one Venusaur. But just having a quick look here, I got a couple of Charizards. This is our second EV. We got Blastoise. There's Blastoise in here somewhere. Another one. I think I have two. Yeah. So... Almost doubled up the whole set. The Venusaur is, is pretty cheap, so we can definitely get another one of them. It'd be nice to have a, a double set of everything. That'd be cool. But we got a hit, which is good. Probably it's like 7 or $8, so not not too bad. We got a single strike energy. Oh, we got VMAX. Requires a VMAX. A non-reprinted VMAX. It's from the uh, original set. The other one, uh, the Rayquaza, is a, is a reprint one. This is the original. Whether that is more desirable in the future, we don't know. Because, I mean, it got reprinted only very shortly after. So, v, VMAX Climax is from, right? Yeah. So, the, uh, what was it? I can't even remember the set name. Sky, Blue Sky Stream. That came out and then... That's S7R, and then S8B is um, is VMAX Climax. So it was it was very shortly after, only like two sets after. So I guess it doesn't really make that much difference. But if you're like a really want the like original one, that is the original one. All right, we got a Manaphy. Oh, I haven't pulled you yet. Nice. Haven't got the Kurum uh, VMAX yet. So he is um, one of the elusive ones that I, I just never seem to get. It's it's not expensive. It's like a $1 maybe. But I just never pulled it out of the packs and boxes that we opened of Lost Abyss. So that's nice. What did he do? Okay, so ability says... During your turn, you may discard the top card of your deck, and if it's a water energy, you can attach it to your Pokemon. In any way, you can attach it to this Pokemon, I assume, right? And then Die Frost. 120 plus. Does 120 plus 50 for every water energy that you discard from this Pokemon. Okay. Seems alright can obviously ramp up and there's lots of water acceleration so potentially decent and he's VMAX he's beefy boy 330 HP weak to metal is there that much metal going on at the moment alright what do we got oh was not expecting to see you surfing Pikachu nice Big boy riding a very small surfboard. Alright, we have one card left to go. Come on, give us another hit. We've never managed to get more than one. Because they're, they're obviously like few and far between in these kind of mystery packs just because they're so cheap. Like They don't want to give out too many good cards. Alright, last one. Let's go. Rotom again. No. We only doubled up once though. Not too bad. I don't know. Like We definitely didn't get our money's worth in, in terms of value for the cards but still for the price that we paid we got 10 hits it's it's not bad is it not bad and we got a radiant eevee which is pretty sick i'll take it i consider that to be pretty good we got you know i i consider like the benchmark if you get like half your money back from the mystery packs that's like that's not too bad you know and that's kind of my general benchmark when i open packs as well did we get like half of what we invested if was if so yeah that's pretty good which is not a very sensible investment strategy, but um, at least you feel like you, I got something back, you know. So anyway, pretty good today. I think we'll try these ones again. Let me know what you think anyway, guys. Check out the channel for more videos. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next one. Take it easy.